So I just want to update on what I've been doing recently, and uh, mainly the uh, whole idea is a lot of waste. So uh, I've recently been following a chap called Charles Dowding, you know, it's well worth a watch, and uh, he suggested that, uh, or well, not suggested, but he what he does is he grows lettuces and he just picks the leaves off and the plant stays in the ground and you, you know it carries on growing and I've been trying that and it does work now uh, because the allotment is a reasonable distance away and it's not that convenient to get over there to pick leaves uh, I thought right I'll grow them at home instead now I haven't got the space in the garden so I thought I'd grow them in the greenhouse and I'll just turn the camera around to show you what I've been doing What I've done, I've bought uh, a storage container, and this I can't, I'm not sure where they bought this from. It might have been Aldi's or it, uh, a pound shop. It certainly wouldn't have been anywhere expensive because I don't like spending money. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a storage container, uh, but it's a coloured one so that it doesn't allow the light in. And I think that is important because what tends to happen is the um, light makes the water and any feed that you got in there it turns into algae and uh, yeah just put the what is that in there so you just put the lettuce plant in and let it grow and as you can see uh, the roots are going into the water and the f feed mix um, they're going over now they're starting to go to seed but I've had a obviously in the ground ra rather than in a container with water which is uh, I think they call it Hydroculture, hydroculture. I think that's the I've got it right. Anyway, I'm sure somebody will put me right if um, if I've got that wrong. Um, yeah, you can do that in the ground, and um, of course, at this time of year, which is August at the moment, that's you know it's best to put it in the ground because obviously the temperature is still okay outside. Uh, but I've only done it in the greenhouse for convenience sake, uh, convenience sake, because uh, I have got no space on the out on the garden. Um, yeah, and it works fine. Now, but what I'd be interesting to know is, I want to put some in here to overwinter and see if I can keep salad leaves growing over the winter. That's the uh, um, the plan. It may or it may not work. We don't know. Uh, right. What else have we got in here? Tomatoes and cucumbers. Well, I had a really poor show this year with tomatoes and cucumbers. And um, but I'm not the only one apparently. Uh, cucumbers, I mean the cucumbers are going over now because it's getting cold. But they grew lovely. I had a couple of lovely uh, cucumbers off it, off them, and they stopped growing. Uh, you know, they stopped producing. Then all of a sudden, I'm getting cucumbers again. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, so if anybody knows the reason, um, feel free to make comments. Uh, these are not going to come to much, I don't think, because uh, it's getting too cold now, and I don't think they're going to mature in time. There we are. Right, so I think... Yeah, so... I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Right, um, so hopefully this video will reco record again because I've done this four times now and it's, for some reason it's, I've uploaded, it's uploaded other film, parts of the film, but not this particular section, I don't know why. Anyway, bye for now. Well hello everybody, this will be the 20,000th time of trying this film because for some reason it's not, it records so far and then stopped and I got a funny feeling I've solved it let's hope this time apparently it was set on a five minute loop whatever that means um i didn't realize and it would stop recording after about five minutes anyway let's see if this um works this time anyway so following on from my lettuce uh experiment in the greenhouse which i think is uh, seems to be working okay uh, another convenient method of growing stuff in my garden is runner beans or our runner beans now 
again yes i can grow these runner beans on the allotment uh but again it's it's about the con excuse me it's about the convenience of going over and picking them fresh yes i can pick them a couple of days before but you know if you want them really fresh then you, they've got to be close at hand um anyway so i got f uh, seven plants in there and yeah they, it's, it's producing enough for us enough for three adults uh, to have a, a meal approximately twice a week um so yeah and you know if you want more than that then obviously you need to plant a few more but uh, it seems that, uh, you know something we'll probably repeat next year um okay so that's that now another little project i'm doing at the moment is to replace this wooden staging which frankly now is showing its age and it's looking tatty and starting to rot around the edges etc um and i've always wanted to replace it or have uh, aluminium staging because you know you can keep it clean and it doesn't rust and stuff like that um so this is the well not the end result but this is virtually the end result of uh, what, what that project is because obviously i've got a few more little jobs to do on it um anyway this started life as a eight by six eight foot by six foot greenhouse um which i got for free now uh, it's amazing how many times i've seen greenhouses advertised on gumtree or the local ads things like that free to anybody who will collect or dismantle and collect and i'm happy to do that so yeah you know there's no need to buy these things if you know especially if you wait a little bit as well you you know you can go for a couple of months nothing appears and all of a sudden these things come in twos or threes and uh, i don't know why but there must be a reason for it but i'm happy to take anything off people for free as long as i can make use of it uh right so these parts this the legs and these cross struts um uh <coughs> excuse me uh, originally started as the base the eight by six base and all i've done is cut them down to size uh the uprights or the legs are one meter long and there's six of those now these slats which are loose at loose at the moment i haven't quite decided if i'm going to fix them permanently in place or just leave them loose uh, you know i mean they're quite a tight fit so i may just leave them loose now as you can see these are, are not finished yet what i need to do is do the rest of them like this one and all i've done is cut a slot out uh, to the right measurement to enable it to sit flush with the top now the the length of these or the width depending on which way you look at it is determined by this frame here which happened to be the door to the greenhouse and the width of the door has um, determined the length of those struts and 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 fortunately there was enough base left to enable me to fit all the pieces in the middle in between with approximately an inch gap between each one so that was quite convenient now uh, I'm a bit of a so and so I tend not to plan stuff I should do I know that uh, you know I've I've worked in <laughs> worked in engineering I've been um, you know I've worked in factories you know making wooden products etc etc and work into plans but when it comes to my own stuff I tend to add a little bit um, there we are that's the way I work and you know whether it's right or wrong is, is, is not the point that's the way I work uh, sometimes I <laughs> I come and stuck but you know what that's what makes life interesting um, anyway so uh, th those are the pieces there now then uh, a lot of the greenhouses in the UK anyway aluminium ones tend to be standard fittings and uh, etc so you tend to get this sort of stuff this material which as I say is standard and all I've done now is cut these uh, oh, sorry the, these would have accommodated the glass of course held in by spring clips one that side one that side and on the roof size backs whatever etc so all i've done is cut these pieces to length to make tray supports between the legs 
uh, you know, uh, and then I've drilled through the upright of the legs to accommodate a bolt. And the bolts are the ones that you use on greenhouses because they are specially shaped and fit in this slot. And they slide up and down, you know, to whatever position you require. So in this case, I've put uh, enough supports for two shelves. But if you were to do a similar project, you can, you know, uh, do as many or as few as you want, you know, or, or different heights, whatever you want to do. Um, now, if I need to take it apart, I all I need to do is slacken off the bolt, and then they'll just slide out. They don't need to take the bolt out completely. So um, yeah, that's com quite convenient. Now the distance between the uprights. Um, again, I didn't know the distance. It just that's that's the way it fell because obviously the one leg is at one end, the one leg at the other end, and then one in the middle. I didn't know what the measurement was, but guess what? <laughs> These baskets, which you get from supermarkets, uh, just happen to fit quite conveniently. So uh, there we are. Uh, you know. Now then, fixing the legs to the door frame. In in my case, I've used pop rivets, and it's you know they're quite strong. Um, you could use bolts, of course, <coughs> uh, but you know I just happened to have them there, and I thought well I might as well use them up and use it for that. They're a lot quicker than faffing about with bolt nuts and bolts. Oh. Anyway, if I do need to dismantle it to move it, then it's a case of just drilling them out, and then they'll, that'll be it. Um, what else have we got? Oh yeah. So now it is fairly rigid and you know stable, but just in case, um, what I'm going to do is I've got some of the angle, the aluminium angle for, from the greenhouse that you that uh, is there to basically help keep things rigid so I'm gonna attach uh, one there and one there so that like that or I may do it that way or if I've got enough if I can do two like an X shape then that's what I'll do as well so uh, all I've got to do left left to do then is to cut slots out of these to make them fit put the braces on and that, that's basically it um, I hope that is useful for you. To give you an idea if you know if um let's see, ooh, a cup of tea here. So yeah, you don't need to buy stuff. And um there we are. Bye for now. Hello everybody, welcome back. And um having reviewed the film so far, uh it would appear that the five minute loop that was on it originally was the main problem for not uh, sorry for the film not uh, filming <laughs> basically or the camera not filming sorry so uh, it did sort of occur to me if you're watching we're watching it that um, you will have seen me put these across here and it's occurred to me to say to think that say well how are you going to get the trays out if that is in the way well of course it's the same that side as it is the other side and of course uh, this is just for show a purpose of showing you but basically these will only be placed on the one side you know uh, the back uh, the front will be left open but actually something did occur to me I think maybe if I've got enough of this angle um, the f at the front I, I may I may put a brace horizontally as well just just in case in the legs want to spread apart. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to spread apart, but, you know, it, uh, if I put a brace there as well at the front part, on the front part of the, of this uh, stage, and then, yes. Um, and again, you know, uh, if you want different heights, you can adjust this strut as well. You know, you can move it up and down accordingly. I mean, I, you know, I can, well, whatever, whatever I want to do with it. So, yeah, that's just a quick update. Alright, bye for now.